channel I hope that y'all doing really really well it's currently the beginning of July so I thought I would sit down and share my June favorites with you guys I have some skincare items some makeup bits a perfume and a few little accessories that I've really really been loving lately I'm also going to be doing a little giveaway at the end of the video so stay tuned for that and I've decided to incorporate more giveaways on my channel and they'll kind of be spread out within different types of videos so just keep a lookout for that so June was a really great month my fiance and I took a trip to Mykonos which is in Greece and we were there for one week it was so amazing you guys some of you guys may have seen the vlog already if you haven't I will leave it down below and just work wise things have been going really well we are making a lot of progress with the brand that we're going to be launching next year I'm so so excited to share it with you guys there's so much that goes into it but we are working really really hard on it we want it to be super super perfect and super amazing for you guys and as soon as things are a little bit more like solidified I will share everything with you guys and I'm so so excited but right now I want to share my June favorites with you guys so I think I'm going to start with a little bit of skincare first the first thing that I've really been loving and that I would highly highly recommend is this primer from Jouer this is the anti-blemish matte primer it says it's a salicylic acid acne treatment it's oil-free hypoallergenic paraben free and silicone free I use this product in my first impressions video which if you guys haven't seen I will also link it down below it's so good you guys especially now when the weather is getting a little bit warmer we tend to get a little bit sweatier and oilier it's great if you have sensitive acne prone skin which is definitely me I really like this because I feel like it acts like a little bit of a skincare within the actual primer so it kind of helps your skin as you're wearing it I don't apply this all over my face though I just put this in my t-zone area and a little bit on my cheeks I used this when I was on vacation in Greece and it kept my makeup looking super super beautiful but moving on to some makeup removers there have been two micellar waters that I've really been into I love to wear makeup I love applying makeup but I also love to take it off there's no better feeling than when you've had your makeup on all day to come home and just take it off and really cleanse your skin the whole cleansing and taking care of your skin at night is definitely one of my favorite things to do and yeah I have two micellar waters here that I really like the first one is from Caudalie this is the little mini travel size version this is just called the micellar cleansing water it has organic grape water and chamomile in it Caudalie is one of my favorite skincare brands they're a French brand and they use really good ingredients and I find that their products just work really really well I also also have their toner that I love and I've spoken about with you guys before as well I also discovered this one from Dior this is the Hydrolife micellar water no rinse cleanser I had heard some pretty good reviews about the micellar water but I thought like is it really necessary to purchase a Dior micellar water I don't know if I could justify the price and everything but I saw this in the store I felt it I looked at it I removed the cap and I saw that it has this like dispenser where you push down you just press a cotton pad down on this and then that's how it dispenses the product I also love the color I love just how it looks plus the product of course is really good I wouldn't talk to you guys about it if just like the outside was good like the inside has to be good as well it's super gentle on the skin it's not like overly chemical feeling it has a very light scent to it and it really does remove all of my makeup I take two cotton pads I pump some product onto them and then I will just cleanse my face with the two cotton pads and it's amazing and then one more skincare item that I've really been loving this is the Dermalogica skin clearing wash it does contain salicylic acid which is again something that is great for acne prone skin it says here it helps to clear oils and bacteria on breakout prone skin it also has extracts of balm mint eucalyptus and tea tree oil I really do feel this working on my skin when I'm washing my face and I love that before trying this I was using the Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Cleanser. I've been using this for the past like 
three years or so and I still love this cleanser it's also amazing but I just wanted to switch things up a little bit and just try something different this is the first one that I actually really love and that I would recommend to you guys if you have again like problematic skin uh, blemish prone skin oily skin but you know with skincare it is so personal and you just have to try and see what works for you but for me this has been working really really well and I like to use that with my trusty Clarisonic which I like oh, I have such a deep deep love for my Clarisonic so shall we move on to some makeup items you guys probably know that foundation is like so close to my heart I love experimenting with different foundations and I have like really really high standards when it comes to having a foundation that looks natural on the skin and that doesn't irritate my skin in any way because I have very very sensitive skin and that gives a nice coverage on the skin without looking cakey and a nice finish not something that's overly matte but also not super dewy it has to be like the perfect balance I just love the feeling of when you take out your mirror in the middle of the day and you can can look at your skin and feel confident in your skin I'm rambling but I want to show you guys my favorite foundation of the last month and it's actually a combination of two foundations you guys probably know that I love and swear by the Estee Lauder double wear it's just such a reliable foundation and it wears for hours but what I really like to do with the Estee Lauder one is to mix it in with the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm currently using the 4W1 shade in the Estee Lauder and in the Armani Luminous Silk, I am in shade number nine. I just love the long wearingness of the Estee Lauder one and the slight like glowy, dewy kind of look and bronzy look that this one gives Together, they are perfection. And I do want to mention the coverage of this is a medium, like medium to full. You can definitely build it up or sheer it out depending on how much you apply. A crucial part, I think, in my makeup routine personally, is setting your foundation and setting your concealer, which will really help to make it last throughout the day and just look really flawless and airbrushed. This is another product that I discovered in my first impressions video. It is from Beauty Bakery. It's the Flower Setting Powder, and I have mine in the shade Translucent. This was such a nice surprise, and I'm so, so happy that I found this and that I love it so much. This powder is super finely milled and it just melts into the skin like it literally just disappears onto the skin and just leaves the most beautiful soft focus matte finish on the skin like really really airbrushed feel on the skin. My favorite place to use this is definitely in my T-zone area where I tend to get a little bit shiny. It makes your makeup last for hours. It looks beautiful and matte. You don't have to worry about touching up throughout the day. One last makeup item that I want to talk about, which is not something I discovered in June, but it's something that I have been wearing consistently. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it to you guys before, but I've been using it nonstop lately and it just deserves another mention. This is a blush from MAC in the color Melba. It looks like this. If you guys are looking for a really great, like, fresh and awake looking blush that just adds a lot of life to your face in like a peachy pinky tone color, I would highly recommend this one. This is actually one of the first makeup products I ever owned. My mom gave me one of her Melba blushes like way back in the day and I loved it then. I still love it now. It has like a special place in my heart. It is what I have on today. I'm just going to apply a little bit more. It just instantly livens up the skin and it makes it look super pretty and like like pinched, you know. Just really natural and beautiful and I love this color. It's also great for people who have a bit more of an oily skin or if you have a lot of texture on your skin because you want to be careful with blushes and highlighters that have too much of a glow. If you do have, you know, a lot of um, texture or blemishes on your skin to not give too much of like a reflect of that part of your face because it can really emphasize that texture and those breakouts. So a matte blush could work really great for those types of skin. Okay, moving on to fragrance. This has been my new obsession. It's from Montelay and it's called their Pure Gold Fragrance. And of course, it's in this beautiful gold bottle. There's this little charm like stopper 
part on the top, you just pull that off and then you can spritz it. It smells quite floral, but a bit musky, and it has that sunny, beachy element, which I love in fragrances. There is definitely that note of vanilla in here as well, but it's not too overpowering. Like It just gives that really nice deliciousness to the fragrance, and it is also quite fruity. So it's a really interesting mix if you guys are ever you know, passing a Montelay display or if you're in a department store or something, just give this a little whiff. I think it's really, really nice. And something that I really appreciate about this fragrance is that it's super long lasting. This stuff lasts for hours and it's very, very potent. So you wanna make sure that you don't spray it like too, too heavy because it really does pack a punch. Something else I discovered quite a while ago actually, I just haven't told you guys about it yet, is um, also kind of like a fragrance, but it's a home fragrance and it's from Mio. It's the Liquid Yoga Space Spray. It's a really nice, very light spray, but it instantly makes you feel calm. It's really nice to keep by your desk to spray throughout the day. You could also keep this by your bedside table and spray some before you get into bed. It's just really nice, especially if you want like a quick kind of pick-me-up in the middle of the day to just kind of center you and relax you a little bit. It is such a beautiful fragrance. I want to show you guys my new glasses. Oh my god, I can't see anything though. These are my new glasses. I do wear um, prescription contact lenses, but I needed to get a new pair of glasses and I went with these. And I've actually been wearing these in place of my contacts sometimes just to give my eyes a bit of a break. Um, but these are actually the first frames that I've ever owned that I feel really comfortable just wearing in the day and, you know, in place of my contact lenses, just because they are so pretty and I think you know, they look really cute. These are from Chanel and I got these a few weeks ago. And whilst I was picking up my glasses in the store, I also saw this case. When I saw this, I immediately thought that it was from Fendi because Fendi, they do these like cute kind of like patchy eyes and like little monsters and things, but they're actually quite affordable. They're from a brand called Euphoria. I hope that I can find these online and link them below for you guys because Seriously, it's so adorable. You just open it up like so, and you can slip your glasses in, and then close it up like that. Super convenient, and I mean, like, how cute is this? <laughs> the last thing I wanna show you guys is actually a new handbag that I got a few weeks ago, and I have been loving it. As some of you guys may know, the handbag that I use pretty much on a daily basis is my Chanel boy bag. I am obsessed with that bag. And it's not often that I find other bags that I think are as nice or, you know, that I would wear instead of that Chanel boy bag. But I did find a bag that I really, really love and it's actually more on the affordable side but the quality is still really nice and I think the design is beautiful. So this is the bag right here. It's from a brand called Furla and I think this is so pretty, especially now for the summertime. I was actually looking for a smaller bag that is in a lighter color compared to my black Chanel boy bag that I could wear in the summertime with like, you know, kind of lighter summer outfits and that was still like really cute and had something a little bit special about it. But what I think is really, really cool about this bag is that the top part is actually interchangeable. So you have these three buttons on the back that you can actually clip off like so. And then you can like open it up from here like this. So I got the white base, as you can see, with the gold hardware. And then I got this top, which is in this beautiful gold, like champagne color. And I also got this beautiful yellow embroidered one. It's such a beautiful design. And I thought it would be really nice now for the summertime, like with an all white outfit or with like a white and denim outfit to have this kind of pop of color. And then you just button it on the back like so, and now you have a whole new bag. And on the inside, it just looks like this. So you have a little compartment here, and then the main compartment. And this really fits everything that I need, like on an everyday basis. This was the bag that I wore pretty much throughout the whole vacation in Greece, and I loved it so much. So those were all my favorites from the month of June, and now I wanna show you guys what I'm gonna be giving away um, in this little giveaway. So Becca just launched these beautiful liquid crystal 
crystal um, lip toppers and I showed these on my snapchat um, a few days ago these are so beautiful I haven't tried any of these colors on my lips because these are the ones that I want to give to one of you guys I'm actually wearing one of them on my lips today this is one that I'm keeping of course this is the champagne dream times Bellini it's gonna show you guys what it looks like it gives a beautiful like crystal multi-dimensional look to your lips and has a very like coconutty pineapple summer taste it's kind of like a, a pina colada so it's really nice now for summer so the colors that i'm going to be giving away are rose quartz times seashell then we have topaz times gilt then we have opal times jade and finally amethyst times geode so really beautiful glosses and i want to share those with you guys so it's super easy to enter the giveaway it's going to be on my instagram all you have to do is leave a comment under the photo that's associated with this video right here i'll make sure to put a link for the photo down below in the description box so you can see exactly which one it is and you just have to leave me a comment it can be any comment that you like and of course make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you are following me on instagram and then you will be automatically entered to win and I will choose a random comment from that photo and then I will contact you via Instagram. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, maybe found it helpful or maybe found some new products to try and also if you want more from me you can always find me on my social media. I am on Instagram and Snapchat, both of those are at Annie Jeffrey. I hope that you guys are all having a really nice day. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.